Let's look at another preprocessor directive by name Pragma. Pragma is a special purpose directive which can be used to turn on and off certain features. Also note that Pragma varies from one compiler to another. So let me illustrate that using a simple example. I'll define a function called init and inside that I'll simply print out a message that we are inside init method. Also observe here this method init doesn't take any arguments and doesn't return any values so uh, void init. Similarly let me also define another method called end. So it doesn't return anything and it doesn't accept any arguments too. So inside the end method I'll print out we are inside end method. Simple. So for clarity purpose, let me also print out a nice similar message inside main method. That is, we are inside main method, okay? Now, we already know that entry point of execution of your program is main, okay? So using pragma, let's alter that behavior, okay? So before that, let me write the prototype for these two methods we just wrote. And let's check if, if there are any errors or it executes without any error. Okay, so we are inside main method gets printed out on the console window because we are not calling init and end method anywhere inside main method, okay? Now using pragma, so the keyword pragma space another keyword startup start up and then our function name. So this alters the behavior of your C program and this init method executes before your main method, okay? before your main method yeah for that your init met method shouldn't return anything shouldn't accept any arguments so another pragma uh, feature that is pragma exit both are keywords after that you need to specify a function name so during before termination of your program the end method gets executed so first thing is we are inside init method gets executed Next, we are inside main method gets executed and then we are inside end method gets executed. But unfortunately, this doesn't work in GCC compiler. So let me remove these things and show you how to make it work inside your GCC compiler if you have one. So the keywords double underscore attribute of. So inside that again, parenthesis constructor constructor make sure you type the spelling correctly i think we need to have double underscore after attribute to here yeah that's right okay let me copy the whole thing and paste it here and inside instead of constructor i'll write destruct destructor okay so this should do the job for our gcc compiler so let me compile and execute it so we are inside init method statement gets printed first, then we are inside main method and then we are inside end method. So this init method got called before main method. Okay. After that, the main method is called before termination of the program end method is called. So another way to write this is inside prototype like this. So this works the same way. So let me show that to you. So first init method gets executed after that the main method before the termination of the program the end method gets executed. So we are inside init method after that we are inside main method after that we are inside end method gets printed out onto the console window. Remember this is specific to your C GCC compiler. Source code for all these is present on our blog, link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video, okay? So let me show you another feature of this Pragma preprocessor directive. So if, if you have a method which doesn't return anything, even though it's return type is some valid data type like int, but it doesn't return anything, okay? Let me call it total. So inside this, we are not returning anything. We are simply calculating the total or doing some business logic inside that, but we forgot to return something 
that is integer value from this from this function so it should start throwing warnings to suppress that we will write pragma warn both are keywords w a r n after that minus r v l so subtraction symbol indicates that we need to suppress this warning of no return value okay so another thing your function takes an argument like this but it never uses it inside the function so it should start throwing parameter not used warning right but we could suppress that using par value here so you don't throw any such warnings so another thing you have a you have a variable and you are using it inside your function regularly like like this in your business logic or whatever okay you return something after that after return you increment the value of this count this code doesn't execute it. the control never reaches this count plus plus right so it should start throwing errors like unreachable code and all to suppress such warning we need to pass rch value to it so the first one is to suppress no return value and let me copy and paste these things first so the the first one is to suppress no return value warning the second one par is to suppress parameter not used warning and the third one rch minus rch is to suppress non reachable or unreachable code warning let me write unreachable code warning so remember we are using subtraction here minus rvl minus par minus rch if you write plus rvl plus par plus rch it it actually supports the warning so it highlights those warning and and asks you explicitly to fix it before moving further okay so these things there are many pragmas specific to compilers so these pragmas are very useful for developers uh, assume that you want to fix all the errors before you you give your attention to these warnings in the, in such cases suppress all those warnings and fix the errors first after that you, uh, instead of subtraction you could write plus or altogether remove that pragma and then start fixing the warnings so in some other cases you have a very big program some some teams are managing some modules and they are introducing some warnings which irritates you so in such cases you just use these prag pragmas and compile your code and fix your errors your errors after that you could remove it uh, while pushing or pushing it on to the production or to your github or somewhere some code repositories so in such cases pragma is actually useful but remember it's very specific to your compiler so check it before check if it's working for your compiler before using it okay so i think that's it for pragma uh, preprocessor directive so please follow the link present in the description section of this youtube video for all the source code notes and discussion about this topic and please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram twitter linkedin facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you